The city of Ithaca is looking to improve its West End and West State Street corridor. City officials are turning to a state downtown re revitalization initiative grant to try and get $10 million for these areas. 12 News' Daniel Curran learned what opportunities for growth these areas could be in for. The city of Ithaca is set to apply for a New York State Downtown Revitalization Initiative grant for the seventh time. The application is set to focus on buildings on Ithaca's West End and West State Street corridor. These are areas that Mayor Robert Cantelmo says have historically been underinvested in. He hopes the $10 million in state funding will allow improvement to the areas. And to provide uh, more housing opportunities, more investment opportunities, business opportunities, and really help realize some of the potential of what is the heart of our community. And I think all of those factors taken together fit much better with what the, uh, the intention behind the DRI uh, really is. Mayor Cantelmo says each rejection has been an opportunity for the city to refine its pitch to the state. He tells 12 News the application process was started earlier than in prior years by city officials. This was an uh, element of my State of the City address back in January. Uh, Common Council, for the first time, uh, put out a competitive bid for a uh, grant consultant to help us with that process and kind of, you know, uh, work hand in glove with us over the last uh, 10 months to get an application ready. Ithaca residents say the West End and West State Street Corridor are areas that have immense opportunity for growth. They believe this grant could make a big difference. This area is, uh, is frequented by um, a lot of the lower income population of Ithaca. So, uh, I mean, I'd imagine changing their lives in any way would uh, also change this. But m many buildings in this area need to be revitalized. The city is set to submit its application to the state on Friday, October 18th. It hopes to hear back on this application around December. Daniel Curran, 12 News, Tompkins County.